Tanya from Sarva Yoga. So yesterday was the Libra full moon um, and I was feeling that I should look into the cards because there was a question burning inside me and I asked the cards how is it about the financial situation of us Leos? Because many of us have been thrown um, by the C19 crisis um, into a time of financial scarcity or financial insecurity where we do not know what will happen next. And that gives a little bit of uncomfort, if not anxiety to most people. And so I was asking the cards, how is it about uh, the financial situation for Leos? And the funny thing was that the first answer they gave me basically had nothing to do with money in a direct sense, only uh, with a few steps in between, you can connect the cards they gave me with money. So <laughs> I asked the angel tarot first and they gave me open your heart and the ace of emotions. So here you can see a little cupid and here you can see a happy couple. And the funny thing is it said um, that you are going to have a beautiful emotional experience. It might happen that you meet somebody who you fall in love with. Um, you should definitely open your heart to this person. And it's also possible that your intuitive abilities of receiving information from the higher self um, will be increased during this time. You should um, allow that love is everywhere around you and you should see it consciously and see how love is growing all around you. Um, this is very easy in spring when everywhere the flowers and the bees are coming out. So you can see that there is love in the universe if you just open your eyes to it. Um, and it also said, make decisions by listening to your heart and your intuition and by doing the first steps that you are nudged towards to. So happiness will come to a happy life. It means as soon as you feel happy, you will attract more of this happiness. So you have to concentrate on looking at the good things of life. Then I asked the law of attraction money cards and they told me <laughs> um, that I put, wait, I have to um, have a little second. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, they told me to make your own benchmark for how much you wanna earn. So it says, don't let anyone tell you how much you're worth or how much you should earn. Yeah, Make your own decision how, of how much money should flow into your life. And if you feel good, more money is going to flow to you. That means that you have to cut out anything and anybody who does not make you feel good. If you're stuck in any kind of negative or toxic relationship, cut those people out because the more you deal with those people, the more negative will be on your mind and the more negative you attract in the future. So cut everything out and anyone who makes you feel bad. Um, and also, of course, if it's for you, some kind of addiction like cigarettes, cut it out because it will make you feel bad and it will attract more of the bad things in your life. So it says that you should think and decide for yourself, make your own decision, listen to your own intuition, stop all of the outside noise, don't even listen to what other people say. Because you are the wisest and you know what is good for you in your life right now in this moment. So then I took a Tarot Mucha card and it gave me the nine of pentacles, which is really good because when you're asking for money and out of a big bunch of cards, you get out the nine of pentacles, then it means, hey, there is money. It is all around you. Just look, all the pentacles are here. Yeah. So on this picture, you see a woman who is uh, living on her own. So she is absolutely happy with being solitary. She sacrifices any kind of relationship for the solitude that she needs to become clear for making decisions for her future. And I'm gonna read a little from the booklet that comes along. So it says, 
It stands for solitary contentment, sacrificing companionship for peace, quiet well-being and security. So if there is any kind of relationship that does not bring you peace, remove it, remove it entirely from your life. So this is a very, very good card for self-empowerment, okay? Um, and it says, a wise, beautiful lady has created a garden sanctuary for herself in which she may contemplate the richness of her inner life. Now, if that's not positive for attracting more money, then I don't know what. <laughs> Here, in her secret bower, she is tranquil and secure, with no fear of disturbance. She is content to dwell in solitude with only her falcon as companion, for she is at peace with herself. It has been a hard won peace, with sacrifices and losses along the way, which makes it all the sweeter now. She chooses independence as her reward for a life lived to the full. Now have a good look at this. This is absolutely wonderful. So, I try to repeat the whole thing. Open your heart, set your own standards for money and remove all of the relationships that do not make you feel good. If you do these three things, you'll be fine. Money is coming in. So don't stop believing, hold on to faith, yeah? This is what we need. This is a big test right now. The situation we're in with the lockdown and everything, it's a huge test of faith. Keep the faith, hold on to the positive thoughts, believe that there is something good out there. And if you don't find it in a person, remove this person. There is another person out there that is gonna be nicer to you, okay? <laughs> so life, every time you lose something, is bringing you something better. So hold on to that thought, stay positive, be happy, <laughs> be nice, <laughs> behave. And yeah, I'm gonna do um, the reading soon for next week, starting with the April 13th. And I hope in the meantime, you have a good time and enjoy yourself, eat some green foods, drink some celery juice every day. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now, folks. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs>